Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Officer MJ Thompson here with another Crime Prevention Thursday update. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, uh, today we have a special guest with us. We have Officer Count here of our uh, motor unit. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So yeah, far. thanks for being here. It's Absolutely. beautiful today, right? Wonderful weather. So, uh, hey guys, um, traffic safety, it's a big issue in the city. Um, last year, if I remember correctly, we had 48 traffic fatalities in our city. It's too many. And uh, I think this year we're already up over a dozen. Exactly. Right? Counting pedestrians and vehicles, yeah. A dozen or so. So, what we, we need people to obey the, the speed limit signs. We need people to stop for red lights, right? Um, tell us some of the, the major violations that you and your team sees every day. You know, we go out and we see, I mean, every violation from minor traffic violations, just equipment, stuff like that. Um, we focus on most of the major violations. So the speed, the running the red lights, the unsafe actions, like changing lanes without signaling and cutting people off and stuff like that is where we spend a lot of our time right. doing enforcement. Um, school zones, I know we're getting to the end of the summer here. Uh, yep. Sorry, beginning of the summer, end of the school year. School, year. Um, school zones are a, a huge priority for us, right? We spend a <clears throat> ton of time in school zones. Um, seems like it's always more right at the beginning, right at the end. Sure. You know, in the middle, people kind of get it figured out. But, you know, end of the school year, people start getting a little more lax on that because the summertime is coming. And right. Get, right. Don't spend quite as much time. So, you know, we want, we want to correct people's behavior. Um, um, we want people to stop for red lights. We don't want people to, to speed up when they hit a they see a yellow no, stop light. when it's appropriate, right? But we want to enforce that action and have them obey those signs. Mm -hmm. So guys we, um, Anything we can do to lower the traffic fatalities we need to do um, How do the, when those complaints come in and you guys get sent to a specific area? How do, how do those come in? How do you guys determine where you're gonna go? So, you know, it comes a couple different ways One sometimes it comes all the way from the mayor of the chief of police all the way down to us sure. Other times we just get citizens calling in to a complaint line Sure. And they start asking us to come out and do some enforcement. So we'll send an officer out to do a small evaluation, find out if it's a serious problem or right. if it's a one-off. There's just a car that's doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. And if we establish that it's a, I guess, productive for us to go out and spend time to try and change um, behaviors on the roadway, we'll do that. Absolutely. So guys, please obey traffic control lights. Obey the speed limits. Watch out for um, you know, school zones. Um, pedestrians, okay, we need to lower the traffic fatalities. Uh, one's too many, 48, last year's way too late. Sir, thank you so much Absolutely for spending it. some time with us today. Guys, we'll catch you next week on a, another Facebook uh, Thursday Crop Prevention Live. Thank you.